Hello, this is Dr. Gay from Forsyth MRI, and this is a quick example of a patient who has shoulder pain. They're young and athletic. I see this all the time, and it is related to tendinopathy of the rotator cuff. So thank goodness they don't have a tear of the rotator cuff, but just tendinopathy and a little bit of bursitis from overuse. So very common finding to cause shoulder pain. And in this patient, we have the round humeral head. We have the glenoid, part of the scapula, the shoulder joint. And up here we have the patient's muscle, supraspinatus muscle. This is the rotator cuff component that is up high, and the muscle turns into a tendon, and the tendon attaches over here on the humeral head. We see it over here. And the tendon should be really dark, but instead it is gray. So they have what we call tendinopathy or tendinitis or tendinosis, just irritation, microscopic injury. So it's not a full thickness tear that needs surgery. Also, the patient has a little bit of brightness over the surface. This is a little bit of fluid and edema. We call it peritendinous edema, irritation and bursitis related to this overuse phenomenon. Um, this is the acromion process, and this is the deltoid muscle. And this little pocket of fluid here we call the subacromial subdeltoid bursa. So a little bit of bursitis associated with the rotator cuff tendinitis. This is, again, a very common finding in young athletic people. In this patient, they also have large muscles. They're a weightlifter or very good shape here. We have the supraspinatus muscles enlarged, and it's crowded as it tries to get down here between the clavicle and acromion and the humeral head. So large muscles sometimes can cause impingement and um, uh, lead to bursitis and uh, inflammation of the rotator cuff itself. And that's it, a case of tendinopathy and bursitis in this young athlete.